solve this quintic equation where x is a real number. We can see that this is a quintic equation with an x to the power of 5 term, an x cubed term, and a constant term. We might solve this equation by using factorization. 216 can be written as 243 minus 27, which can be written as 3 to the power of 5 minus 3 cubed. So equation 1 can now be written as x to the power of 5 minus x cubed minus 3 to the power of 5 plus 3 cubed equals 0. Now we rearrange the equation and write x to the power of 5 minus 3 to the power of 5 minus x cubed minus 3 cubed equals 0. We know that a to the power of 5 minus b to the power of 5 can be written as a minus b times a to the power of 4 plus a cubed b plus a squared b squared plus a b cubed plus b to the power of 4. We also know that a cubed minus b cubed can be written as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. By applying these, we can now write x minus 3 times x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed plus 9x squared plus 27x plus 3 to the power of 4 minus x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. We can see that the two terms have a common factor, x minus 3. So we can now write x minus 3 times x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 24x plus 72 equals 0. So either x minus 3 equals 0 or this quartic algebraic expression equals 0. Solving this quartic algebraic equation isn't easy, so we'll try to find out whether this quartic algebraic expression can equal 0. Now we look at this quartic algebraic expression, we can create a perfect square from the first two terms, and we can now write x squared plus 3 over 2 x or squared minus 3 over 2 x or squared. We look at the second and the third terms. The second term is minus 9 over 4 x squared. The third term can be written as 32 over 4 x squared. So these two terms is 23 over 4 x squared. Now we want to complete the square using the terms underlined in blue. They can be written as 23 over 4 times x squared plus 96 over 23 x. The term underlined in blue can be written as a perfect square minus 23 over 4 times 48 over 23 all squared. We know that the first term is greater than or equal to 0. The second term is also greater than or equal to 0. Here we have 4 
here we have 48 squared. 48 over 4 is 12. So we can now write 12 times 48 here. Here we have 23. Here we have 23 squared. 23 here and 23 here cancel. So we can now write 23 here. 48 over 23 is slightly greater than 2. 12 times a number that's slightly greater than 2 is slightly greater than 24. 72 minus a number that's slightly greater than 24 is greater than 0. So the sum of these three terms must be greater than zero, which means this quartic algebraic expression equals zero is an equation with no real solutions. Hence, from equation two, x equals three is the only solution.